a 14 point road win. And, and I know it's tough. And, and I know it's not exactly every possession what I wanted, but that's, that's what coaching and teaching is about. But to, to feel their emotion, how bad they wanted. Like I've said many times, caring is a very, very special talent. Their preparation Monday through Thursday was incredible, and they transferred it to competition. The scout by Bo Braden was incredible. And again, the execution, especially the first 30 minutes of the game, you know, this is a team that owns a, a road win and on an ACC opponent. And they were five and two, have undergone some hardships with, with COVID like everybody has. But, um, and I hate to go back to last Friday night, we lost a, a, a five point game to, to Lipscomb and I don't feel any bit different about them tonight as I did then. And I'm with them every minute of every day. I'm incredibly proud of the way they represent this basketball program our university, and frankly, our whole community, because there's people from Louisville all over this place down here tonight. I mean, there's graduates, there's Iroquois graduates that I grew up with. There's, uh, you you name it, uh, parents of the kids I coached at Ballard. I mean, this was great. And, and believe me, those young men, uh, they just did something that will never, ever be taken away. They just run, won the first conference game in the history of Bellman University in any sport. And I'm proud of those guys. Okay, guys, I'll just open it up and let you guys fire away. Uh, yeah, uh, Scott, just beyond it being the first win, just to get – a conference win and go through that experience of winning on the road. Um, it, I know it could come any time, was going to come any time, but to get it done now, uh, that's how much is that worth? Well, that's hard to answer, Eric, because I wanted it so bad for them. That, I mean, like, boy, I've got that. And I'm never going to apologize for caring about them. And I'll let them talk after the game. I'll let them talk because they earned the victory. They deserve to talk in that locker room. But it's, uh, you know, I, I don't really know how to answer because I wanted it for them so bad. Because, again, we're with them every day. And just, you know, in the airports yesterday, and, uh, representing the, this, this university in our community, uh, just think, those kids are never going to forget tonight. They're not. They're going to win more, but but they're they're going to be the first one to ever win a conference game. And I'm, I'm I'm proud of them because they're they're they're. I know every coach says it, but they're great young men. And I'm gonna keep challenging. They know that I'm gonna keep challenging. That's how we get back. We had a great week of practice. Great week of practice. Coming off two tough tough losses against and I knew this week I told Jonathan it was set Monday it was set Monday and I was worried I was really worried Monday that they may come really question themselves and boy they came even more determined oh practice was great it got competitive in practice now and they transferred it to competition I'm proud of them 18 out of 21 from the line I think we hit um, eight the last eight in a row or close eight out of nine I guess down the stretch proud of them I know they didn't expect to be up 27 at any point. It's hard to do that with that much time left. Um, what did they do well and what not well after that point? Uh, you know, well, just ball security, just the turnovers. Uh, and, and, uh, and you give them credit. Lot, lot, you know, it's tough for us to simulate their pressing in practice because we just don't have that at, that uh, link in athleticism. I would expect we'll be pressed 40 minutes tomorrow. Hey, uh, Scott. John just, just the turnovers. 
Like we got great shots tonight. We got, by and large, we got great looks. Just, just the tournament. We out rebounded them. Uh, just, just, just the ball security. Hey, Scott, uh, Jonathan here. Um, you know, that first half, of, I think you all helped them to like, what, eight of 30 in the first half. Just, they couldn't buy a bucket in that first half. And then, um, and uh, you know, the Eagles kind of got into a little bit in that second half, but you all, you know, held them, you know, so tightly in that first half that it didn't matter. You know, the run in the second half was a little bit too late. What did you like about what you saw the team playing defense in that first half? And, and uh, I guess, how do you, Hope to, you know, hopefully extend that for a longer duration, you know, in tomorrow night's game. Well, there's going to be adjustments, but Jonathan won. It was the 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 way they executed what we presented in a scouting report. And then, two, it was team defense. It wasn't just one man shutting down one man. It, it, we stressed all week, defend for each other. Defend for each other. It's not just, oh, I stopped my man. It's defend for each other. And that was our goal for 40 to 40 minutes tonight. Defend for each other. All right. And uh, we have to play defense as a team. That's how we have to defend. All right. I remembered you also last week. Uh, you made a point about the time of possession. I think tonight you all, or not time of possession, the, the, the lead, um, the lead time, the lead time. I think tonight you all held the lead for us, you know, over 38 minutes, you know. Yeah. Seeing that turnaround from last week to this week and, you know, that, um, I guess that, um, not attention to detail, but, but that need to, you know, keep control of the game the way the team did tonight. You know, what was it like seeing them, you know, play with that type of urgency you this evening? Well, what I saw them do, I saw them what we teach in practice. So it feels great because I saw them what we teach in practice. You know, and it's, they're not machines. They're, they're not robots, but – when 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 they do what they're taught, they know it. I don't have to tell them. They know that. It's the same way, you know. I'm tough. I'm gonna push them. And when they don't do what they're taught and they mess up, yeah, they know it. I just I'm just there to remind them. All right. And uh, final thing, I think uh, you know Ethan and, and CJ had big nights for you all. I think Ethan. Was more um, more more of a presence in that first half, and then CJ came in and and helped you all, you know, clean up and seal it off in that second half. Um, you know, what did you see from them here tonight, and and um, and the effect that they had out there for Bellerman? Well, first of all, and, and I'm just saying it again. I've seen it all week in practice. Uh, we chart after chart after chart. Uh, like, I'm not surprised at all that, that Alec Freeman had a great game because he had a great week of practice. I, I mean, you know, and, and it's CJ and Ethan uh, are the only two singers on this team. And you say, what did you see from them? Well, it was more than just made the shots. It's leadership, it's experience, and those kind of things unite a team that trusts each other. And this team trusts each other. They do. If you're on those timeouts, like we are, and you feel them in there pulling for each other, even when things aren't going great, it, 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 it makes the coach have great confidence in his team. There's no guarantees, but you have confidence because they're really pulling for each other. What's the weather like in Fort Myers? It was unbelievable. It was 70 degrees, and you could not have cloud in the sky today. I ran this morning at 7 a.m., six miles, and I didn't have to put on gloves or, or a toboggan or long pants. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, they loved them. I mean, they, they, you know, you're in college, and you spend a weekend at Fort Myers. I've never been to Fort Myers. This is a beautiful, beautiful city. Wow. It's, it's 31 degrees in Kirksville, Missouri. I just thought I'd tell you that. Just, just <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, 31 degrees. Kirksville, Kirksville and Kenosha and all of Missouri has been talked about a few times today. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this. This is a clean, one of the cleanest communities I've ever been. Spotless. Yeah. Um, you, you're, you're 
did not shoot the ball great tonight. No. Or double we had good shots. Yeah, it was good shots, just didn't go later. No, I mean, I'm just looking at the stats. We had great shots. You know, but like I say, nobody tried to miss a shot. We had great shots. But that I would think that's encouraging on a night when you don't have your your best shots, you know, performance. Well, what, what's encouraging, Eric, is you're, you're coaching smart kids who know that. I mean, they're happy. Don't kid yourself. They're happy. They're, they're excited. But they know they miss some great looks. They, no matter how long you do this, when you see young people excited, man, that's a great feeling. And those kids – you got 15 players and two managers in there. You excited as can be, man. That's a great feeling, of coach. It is, and I know it's it's a it's a it's one conference game, but you know they're 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 they're, they're really happy for each other. Not just look at me. They're happy for what they what they did. All all 15 of them. I'm proud of them. 